Today I'd like to show you how to make Peking duck in the pressure cooker. This is a very quick, easy process. There are a few ingredients involved to make the sauce. So, allow me to introduce you to the ingredients. We have one sliced romaine lettuce, one two kilogram, four and a half pound duck, six to eight spring onions sliced, half a cucumber sliced, one cube of defrosted frozen ginger, approximately one tablespoon, one third of a cup of plum jam, three tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of white sugar, half a teaspoon of salt and pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and two teaspoons of Chinese fire spice. Now there are two options. You can either use hoisin sauce, uh, ready-made, or you can make your own plum sauce and add that. I'll show you both ways, depending on your preference. There are a few pieces of equipment we're going to need, so I'll introduce you to the equipment. Here we have a sling. Now this is what we can use to hold the duck in place. So we can drop the duck down into the crock pot or pressure cooker and then lift it back out with ease. It also holds the duck slightly above the base of the pot, which means the duck won't be in contact with the base of the pot. We're going to need a bowl. This is going to be for our marinade. When we combine all the ingredients, we'll mix them into a bowl and that will allow us to make the sauce. For once the, cook, the duck is cooked, we then want to shred the duck. So we're going to need some tongs, some forks, and something to place the duck into once it's shredded. We're also going to want a board, and this will allow us to place the duck on once it's cooked, and we can then shred the duck and move it across into our Pyrex dish. We're also going to want a cup of water to add to our crock pot or our pressure cooker to allow for the steaming. The other thing we'll need is a bowl. Once we've made our marinade, we can place our duck into a bowl and using a hand, we can then glaze the duck and make it ready for cooking. So first of all, we want to make the glaze or the sauce. We want to begin by adding the ginger. third of a cup of plum jam, our three tablespoons of soy sauce, our tablespoon of sugar, our half a teaspoon of salt and pepper, our teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, our teaspoon of cinnamon, and two teaspoons of Chinese fire spice. We now want to give that a mix. Allowing all of the ingredients to combine. Now that the sauce is ready, we can use our bowl and take our duck and simply add this to the bowl. And for the next part, we just want to add our sauce to the duck. Inside and out, we just want to coat the duck as much as possible using the sauce.
Now at this part, you can use the hoisin sauce instead as an alternative if you wish to. But here's a homemade alternative, which should make it much more flavorful. So for the next part, this is where we want to, using our hands, coat the duck, making sure it's covered and well marinated. And if you want to further enhance the, enhance the flavour, you, once you've marinated, you could leave this for a few hours to soak in. So now the duck's suitably coated, we simply want to wash our hands. Now our duck's ready to add to our pressure cooker. Just want to remove the lid, add our cup of water, And using our sling, we can drop the duck into the pot. And allow all of the juices to pour into the cavity. Now the duck's ready to pressure cook, we can simply place the lid over the top, make sure the valve is set to lock and not vent. Now there are two options to cook, if you have the option of turbo mode, you can set turbo mode on and that will cook for one hour. Alternatively, if you're using the original crock pot or a pressure cooker, it'll be approximately one hour 44 minutes. So we can simply choose manual, either an hour and 44 for an original pressure cooker, or on turbo mode, one hour. And press start. So the timer has now completed its cook. We can now switch off the pressure cooker and allow for a 10 minute natural pressure release. So it's now been 10 minutes for our natural pressure release. All we need to do now is open the valve. And if you wish to, put a seat down over the top. Now the lid is unlocked and the pressure has equalized. We can take the lid off and using our tongs, or heat proof gloves. We can simply lift the duck onto the board. Now we just want to remove the sling. And for the next part, we just want to shred the duck.
So now it's time for the taste test. I'm genuinely struggling to tell the difference between this and something I've ordered directly from a Chinese takeaway. Um, the succulentness of the duck is incredible. The flavour of the hoisin, the combination of the lettuce, the onions, and the crisp of the onions, and the soft wraps. Incredible. The flavour is incredible. This is an absolute perfect replica of something you'd order from the takeaway. It's all just magical. You seriously have to try this, absolutely incredible. Once you know and learn how to make these wraps, it's gonna change your life. So give it a try and let me know how you get on. I hope you've enjoyed cooking the food as much as I've enjoyed cooking the food. And I hope you'll enjoy eating the food as much as I'm enjoying the eating the food. If you like what you've seen so far, subscribe to receive the latest. See you in the next one. Thanks again.